customer we thank you for purchasing the new era syringe pump this is a model that is called any 4000 from new era it can take uh, two syringes at a time one in this area and the second one in this area so this is our double syringe pump in this uh, small video uh, we are trying to explain how how to run the machine so this machine operates on 12 volt dc not on 220 volts ac this is your adapter which will convert your 220 volts ac into 12 volts dc so before putting the power on uh, i am just trying to explain how to load the, the syringes these are 5 ml syringes from bd so we are just going to load this is called the plunger this is called the barrel this is called the barrel flange and this is called the plunger flange so we have to tighten the plunger flange and the barrel flange in the pump so we are just going how to do that so these are the syringe holders take it reverse lift it up and reverse it lift it up and reverse it now you can see that there are two slots one for the plunger flange and one for the barrel flange so keep it like this so that the barrel flange and plunger flange comes in these two slots so now the flanges have come in the slots so i will tighten it slightly rotating it clockwise now I am doing the same for the second syringe. I am tightening this nut. By rotating clockwise. Now the barrel flange is tight and the plunger flange there is one nut this nut if you will rotate clockwise it loosens to tighten we have to rotate anti-clockwise so that this part moves forward so i'm rotating anti-clockwise and you can see that this part is moving forward and it is tightening the plunger flange The flange should be tight enough so that it can withdraw also. To check this, there is one lever which we will rotate 90 degree and if you will push this up, you can see that you can move the whole thing manually right so it is pushing the plunger and it's coming back and forth so our flanges are tight now release it down and again move it 90 degree So once again I am explaining this if this will be up you can move the syringes manually but if it is down then you cannot. So once it is down rotate it 90 degree so that this lever is locked and now you cannot move it by hand. So now we have loaded the syringes and this is a syringe holder pull it up and rotate is 180 degree inside pull it up and rotate it 180 degree inside so this tightens the syringe on the syringe pump now we are giving the power 
from 220 volts there is no R thing so this is your power point and this is your on off switch so I'm putting it on so you will see some display flashing if you want to stop it press any arrow key now you can see that there are four arrow keys and each correspond to four digits with the help of these arrow keys you can increase or decrease the digits we will show you how to do that the most important thing in the syringe pumps is whatever syringe you have loaded the first point is we have to enter the dia of the syringe so these are BD 5 ml syringes and there is one chart which gives the internal dia of all the syringes so this is BD 5 ml syringes the internal dia is 11.99 ml so the first thing what we will do is we will go to the diameter and we will enter 11.99 suppose this is not 11.99 and now we have to enter 11.99 so we will press dia and we have entered 11.99 mm now suppose we want to give a rate of 2 ml per minute so we will go to rate and if we want to change ml per minute or say ml per hour then again we will press the rate now this is flashing and we will press any arrow key microliter per minute ml per hour microliter per hour ml per minute so if we want ml per minute we will leave it here now if we have to set a flow of 2 ml per minute so this is the third digit so we will press the third arrow from the right 2 ml if we want to give 5 ml press it again 3 ml 4 ml 5 ml 6 7 8 9 0 1 2 so I am giving 2 ml per minute now if we have to set the volume suppose we have to give 2 ml only now we will go to volume and it is in ml if we want to change the volume parameter from ml to microliter press again once volume it will come to both the leds are glowing now ml and dispense volume then press any arrow key and these will start flashing now you can change microliter ml if you want to select ml select ml if you want to select microliter select microliter so now i am selecting my ml suppose i have to dispense 2 ml <clears throat> so i will press the extreme right again press volume so that this led goes so this is my 2 ml if I want to give say volume of 20 ml with a higher syringe keep on pressing the left arrow key so that this point will move on the right side and keep it 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and now you see that the arrow is moving so you can keep the point at any point whatever you want so now if I have to give a volume of 2 ml I will say 1 Sorry, 2 ml. So finally, my diameter is 11.99 mm. My rate is 2 ml per minute and my volume is 2 ml. Now, if I want to infuse, just press the start. And if you want to diffuse, press this key so that the withdraw light glows. In this, now it will withdraw. So I'm just infusing first, press the start. <coughs> you can see that both the syringes, the plungers of both the syringes are moving simultaneously in the forward direction or infusion is taking place. If you want to see the dispense volume, press the volume and it will show the dispense volume. If you want to withdraw, just stop it press this arrow key and this has come to withdraw and again press start so now the pump is withdrawing or taking the solvent in so 
this is quite a simple machine and here in this video we have tried uh, to explain the operation there are a lot more features which are available in the operational manual still if you are having any problem uh, please uh, free free to contact us anytime thank you so much